Checked. Pinnacleisk. Remove at pin. Remove a car schwatzo from the call button. Unknown cursor. Normal cursor. Normal cursor. Unknown. Raise hand left parent. Trying to lower your hand for you. Not pressed. Your hand is lower. Dot. Raise hand left parent. CTR. Unknown cursor. Normal. Presentation options menu. Normal cursor. Your entire screen. Meet dash it. Share your entire screen dialog pro. Entire screen grouping. Entire screen button one of one. Meet.google.com is sharing your screen dot. System. Unknown. Meet dash advanced Excel. Meet is full screen dot. Press escape to exit full. No next edit field. Start window. Search window. Search box at E. E. App start cursor. Normal cursor. App start cursor. Excel. Normal cursor. Home. More temp. Open grouping. Tab control. Recent tab. Recent list. New list of students of March 20. RTGS details. Dash. New list of AE9. Dash. AE10. New list of BC03. New list. BC. Student details. XLSX. Dot. Mo Sheet. Normal. Meet. Dash. Advanced Excel. Your microphone is on dot. Okay. So this is the workbook. Uh, I have opened for you and you can uh, see it on my screen and your microphones are disabled so you can respond me uh, in chat box only for hassle free recorded lectures okay student details dash excel sheet one table align default vertical align default i4 unknown cursor so this workbook is open and uh, in previous lectures uh, we have covered the various ways of generating numbers in series still we are left with some types of series that we will see later because we have to cover the textual functions uh, like text writing functions so let's see those functions uh, first of all and let me just join through my another device for your comments Okay, uh, that I hope every one of you uh, has opened that workbook. Just respond me in comment section. Okay, just respond me in, in comment section uh, if everything is okay you can hear me and if my screen is visible for you just respond okay I can see yes okay so let's start with uh, this textual uh, entries in our excel sheet so textual in entries will be like your address your name uh, the your cities districts towns and uh, sometimes uh, it may be any feedback right so in case of name and city uh, in case of noun or name uh, of anything in excel you are going to follow proper case there are three cases lower upper and proper proper case where your first letter of word is capitalized so let's try to uh, practice the five names let's fill out five names using proper case but while writing these things you may follow uh, you must follow a similar pattern as uh, earlier I, I told you that uh, you you can write first la middle last or last first and middle means any of the format you are supposed to follow if you are writing name and last name that will be okay but every entry should be uh, in that format only so let's try to make some uniform entries or if entries are not uniformed i will tell you how to make uh, those entries uniform i3 i2 
Address I1. So let me go to name column. SR. Student name crop B1. So this is name. Tejas B2. So here uh, Tejas is written. And let me uh, correct these things. So see, uh, if you type uh, everything in perfect manner, like while typing, uh, you have typed like this only. First letter capital and uh, you are following same format. So you will save your formatting time. And you can utilize that time for different uh, uh, task which you can perform. Okay, so let's try to make five entries here in same format, like first name and last name only. So let's try to make five entries. Tsb two. So I will erase. Edit the line left blank. And I will type first letter capital. T e s t s space m e e t select me space. So this is my first entry. Align default vertical align default. A as Ramesh or meet crop B3. So I will change it. I will edit the line left blank. First name and last name. A M O L a mole. M E E meet space. First letter is capital. Align default vertical align default. A as meet crop B4. Edit the line left R A K A H. Rakash space. Rakash Kumar. K U M A R Kumar space. So I will follow this method for all the entries which I will make. At least which I will make. Entries which I am not making. It is not in my control to have first letter capital. But still, if it is not in my control, I can make it. How that we will see. Align default vertical. Al Prakash Kumar crop B4. Prakash Kumar is Meet as Rameshwar crop B5. So I will write another name in same method, same format. Edit select J A Y J space. Ajay Saxena. S U K S E A A Saxena space. Or Patel Sahab ka naam likhte hai par, Sachin Patel. Align default vertical. A no A. H I N H N space P A T E L Patel space. अब ये पांच नाम लिखते हैं. दिखे. Suppose हमने. Okay. Okay, Friday's class miss hui hai, doesn't matter, uh, just focus on today. So, here are five names. Now see, uh, if my boss or your boss instruct you suddenly, boss, we don't want it in small letters, we want it in upper letter. We want every letter, every name, every surname in capital letters. Now what to do? So you can make it in proper case or upper case. There is a formula. There's formula. So let's make it in upper case. For that you need another column. For that you need another column. So let's insert the column. Now every one of you may be aware that how to insert column in excel sheet. Still I will tell you. Suppose C6 Sachin Patel overflow in B student name crop B1. Suppose I am in this column and I want to insert another column. So I will move my focus to right side. So at the left side I will insert new column. Date of birth crop C1. Date of birth. So for inserting new column. There are shortcuts also, but I will tell you home tab shortcut. What I will tell you, home tab shortcut. Alt H I. H. I. Insert cells dot dot dot. Insert cells dot dot dot. Left parent C T R L plus insert sheet rows alt comma H comma I comma R. So in this menu, you can insert sheet rows, sheet columns. Insert sheet columns alt comma h comma i comma c. So I will press this button and I will insert this. 
there is another Apps shortcut cursor, normal of cursor. inserting new column but that i will share uh, share you uh, share with you later or you can share with each others c1 table c1 unknown cursor align default vertical align default student name overflow in b1 c1 and c1 is my new column where i am going to write every name in capital letters but with the help of formula so let's see how to do it now let's give it uh, a heading as a student name again in capital letters so here i will open on caps lock caps lock on i will type d d e n t then space a a e name space so student name in capital letters align default vertical align default c caps lock off and now uh, it's time to convert all the names in capital so for that i will use a formula in excel that is equals upper means upper upper means upper case so this formula will convert all the lower case entries or all the proper case entries in upper case all the lower case or upper case entries in proper case uh, sorry uh, all the other cases entries in upper case so let's type this formula edit align left equals equals u u u returns the amount p converts a text string to all uppercase letters see converts a text string to all uppercase letter so this is the formula upper so now let me up press the tab here to access this formula or you can type full spelling of upper and open bracket and type your cell address suppose i want to change the entry of b2 in upper case so i will type b2 here b converts to two and i will close the bracket b2 right there <clears throat> i have closed this bracket and now i will press enter align default vertical align default c3 so what i can see here this name is converted in upper case say as me the formula crop c2 it is in upper case now and if i want to convert all the other names in same case i will fill this formula in downward direction <coughs> means whatever uh, is written in this formula i will fill in downward direction so let's see what it does so for that i will have to select the rows suppose i have five entries so i will select five rows for filling this down c a as me as formula c2 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 a c2 a as me through c6 selected row 2 through 6 column 3 and i will press control d for filling down wait cursor unknown cursor quick analysis so, available this formula is filled down and automatically it it will uh, accept cell references in relative manner so if uh, here a mole meter formula crop c3 so here uh, the cell reference original cell reference of the formula was b2 but uh, when i will fill down so it will uh, accept cell reference as b3 b4 b5 in adjacent cells so like this i have converted prakash kumar as for a j6 cena as formula crop c5 these names and now i will delete this original column of student names a j6 cena crop b5 Sachin Patel B7. I will delete this column. For deleting the uh, the Excel column, what you will have to do? Just go to that column and press Alt H D. There are other methods also, but let's use this because we are going to cover Home tab functions also. So let's do this. Alt H D. H. D. Normal cursor. Delete sheet rows all. Delete sheet columns all. Comma H comma D comma C. So Alt H D C करते ही आपका ये column है वो delete हो जाएगा and B will become your new student name column. Sheet one table B seven unknown cursor align default vertical number F bang as formula B six. But यहाँ पे अभी मैंने क्या किया है? यहाँ पे इस column को delete किया तो formula में जो column था वो अब गायब हो चुका है क्योंकि उसका जो ओरिजिनल कॉलम था वो गायब हो चुका है सो लेट मी अंडू दिस एंड ओके आई विल अंडू दिस एंड आई विल हैव टू परफॉर्म अनदर एक्शन टू मेक दिस फॉर्मूला कांस्टेंट टू मेक दिस फॉर्मूला कांस्टेंट सो लेट्स 
नॉट मेक दिस थिंग टूडे वो बाद में हम लोग कभी तो करेंगे इस फॉर्मूला को अभी हम कॉन्स्टेंट नहीं बनाएंगे वैल्यूज में कन्वर्ट नहीं करेंगे जस्ट लिव इट फॉर टूडे उसके लिए यू विल हैव टू परफॉर्म पेस्ट स्पेशल एक्शन एंड दैट एक्शन विल कन्वर्ट योर फॉर्मूला इन टू वैल्यूज बट दैट इज नॉट टूडेज टॉपिक सो लाइक दिस वे सडनली इफ यू गेट इंस्ट्रक्शन फ्रॉम योर बॉस कि कन्वर्ट दिस नेम्स इन अपर स्ट्रिंग लोअर स्ट्रिंग और प्रॉपर स्ट्रिंग सो यू कैन यूज दिस थ्री फॉर्मूलाज प्रॉपर अपर एंड लोअर वॉट दिस फॉर्मूला एक्सेप्ट एज एज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट ओनली सेल रेफरेंस and you can feel the uh, feel this down or up whatever you uh, means every whatever the direction you want to feel this is the uh, method or if you have uh, the office version uh, of 19 and later you can use flash fill that is control plus e let's see how to do using flash fill section for tell prop b7 section student name prop tell us me prop b2 सैंपल एंट्री वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू and flash fill always looks at the left adjacent column and copies the text but in different format which you are going to specify here for example tejas meet overflow in b2 so here tejas mate is written but in proper case and i want it in upper case so i will on my caps lock c2 i will on my caps lock 10-09-1990 tejas meet overflow in b2 c2 Huh. I will on my caps lock. Caps lock on. I will on this caps lock and what I will do? I will type Tejas in upper case. Edit the line left T E J A S A S space M E T E meet space. So this is the sample entry I have made. Caps lock off. In perfect way. And now I will select five rows because there are five entries in left column and I will uh, type. I want those five entries in capital letters. So let's see. I will select C2 these five tayas, rows. C two T C two T C two T has me through C six selected row two through six column three. And I will press Control E for flash fill. A known cursor. And now it has made. Align default vertical aligned. Prakash Kumar crop C four. Prakash Kumar. It is in capital letters. Just see this. At blank. Blank R. A M U K space H S A K A R P. So this is in capital letter. How to check? Just press F2 on that cell and use a right left arrow for checking these things. So that's how align you can use vertical, align default. flash fill for corrections. Okay, voice is breaking. Uh, I think network. Uh, I have a good network. So just check at your end. Okay, how to change? Uh, how to check the change is made or not? You can press F two uh, for checking results. But if there is formula in that cell, so it will read out formula. So there is another way. Uh, which you can read that i will tell you how to do this suppose if there is formula in your cell and you want to check whether it is in capital or small so you can do one thing prakash kumar crop c4 suppose you want to read prakash kumar is is in capital letter or small so just turn off your num lock num lock off and let's do this thing left align default r p So you can press one and three, one for left letter and three for right letter. So like this. R A K A S H space K U M A R. So like this, you can read the results. If um, if यहाँ पे formula भी है, still you can read the results. क्योंकि F2 से ही अगर आप read करने जाते हैं, so it will uh, read formula. But this will read 
uh, whatever there is uh, displayed in that particular cell. So use this technique for reading names. One normal cursor. Press S. Deny entry button. Admit button. Button align sent. Still unknown cursor. Okay, so like this we can uh, check whatever there is written in cell. For example, if you want to read mobile number, you can use the same technique. So for text entry, the name, the city, district, town, always first letter should be capital. Always remember, while typing, you should take care of these things. First letter will be always capital. City, states, the noun, every noun should be first letter, always it should be capital. And if you forget uh, or if you forgot to make this thing, you can use proper case formula and make these things uh, work for you. Or you can use flash fill also. But for that, you need to create supplementary column and then only it will be uh, possible for you. Lekin wo uh, aapka kaam yaha pe bad jata hai. I do not have numpad. So, here we have to read this work a little bit. Because numpad is the functionality of numpad. So, there is uh, no way, uh, according to me, but some accessibility people may know it. It's possible. But if there is no numpad, I, I think there is no way. Instead of F2, means uh, the editing mode. Ah, so for uh, for reading this, uh, reading the same in laptop, you should have a numpad on your laptop. If numpad is not available, it is very difficult. So it is telling that uh, someone is telling that insert up arrow twice. We can press. Or there is another way that you can use external keyboard also. So you can use these things. So uh, let's move to another uh, area. So in case of date, date and time, always remember Excel recognizes this slash and da uh, the dash in between these dates. 10-09-1990-94. So Excel will uh, be able to uh, understand the difference between your day and month if there is dash or slash. Slash is for Indian formats but for that also you must specify that it is in Indian format that we are going to do uh, by using number formats by using number formats of home tab that we will do. But right now, uh, in case of data entry, you should use dash only because dash is recognized by every Excel formula as like it will not recognize slash. It is difficult to recognize slash and if you want to uh, uh, perform some date functions uh, on uh, your data, so there should be dash. So let's uh, try to type some dates using dash like this. 10-0-9-1990-1992 So here I have used dash 10-0-9-1990-1993 10-0-9-1990-1994 So this should be the uh, uh, You should not type date like this 10-0-9 and 1999 this, is, this should not be the way When you are making the data entries Please avoid mistakes like this Always use dash and always write full numbers like 9 hai so yeah you should not like type, you should not type like 9 and uh, 8 and 1993 always write 09 08 1993 so this 0 is compulsory if uh, 0 is not uh, showing uh, there we will see how to do it or how to correct it that we will see 
because uh, what uh, can happen i will tell you if there is uh, not zero or if a dash is missing excel will not recognize it as a date or perfect date and you may miss uh, some dates or some entries in your data analysis so when your data is totally uniform means all the entries are made in same way then only excel will be able to recognize it as a uh, unified data right so always um, uh, mention this uh, the dash okay now again uh, one thing uh, in case of mobile numbers 7-20 p.m. 7-20 p.m. e4 huh. in case of time always remember you should use colon between time uh, yeah, hours and minutes and seconds you should use colons and write full numbers like 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 like this only now let's come to mobile numbers f4 9.17508 plus 7,500,000,000 mobile note 7,507,000,000 now uh, it's your uh, call that you are writing mobile numbers with plus 91 or uh, the different co country code or not as i told you if your database is domestic means if you are having only domestic mobile numbers don't write plus 91 for uh, any confusion but uh, or you can do one thing if you have international database of context you can uh, type plus 91 in different column means country code in different column but while writing plus 91 uh, there when you will type uh, plus or uh, this uh, uh, minus sign uh, plus or equal to sign excel will treat it as a formula and not value let's see how it happens mobile note 7,507,892,490 for example here i have to type plus 91 align default vertical align default 7,507,892 num lock on okay now i will have to type plus 91 plus edit align right plus nine, nine one and now let's see align default vertical 9.17508 plus 11F3. See, it has treated as 9.7 something. But what uh, I have to make it only plus. So I will make minor change here. Edit the line right. I will type this. Tick. Plus. Tick. And. 9. 1. Align default. Plus tick 91F2. Okay, this apostrophe should not there like this only. Edit line will take plus, plus nine, nine one. one. Align default vertical align default plus ninety one F two. So plus ninety one, it has made. So if you want to write plus nine one in Excel, so just put apostrophe before plus and then write plus nine one. So it will not recognize it as a formula. And then type your mobile number, whatever. But always follow one single format. If you are writing with plus 91, write all mobile numbers using plus 91. If you are writing without plus 91, or write all your mobile numbers without plus 91. So I hope you are getting this thing. And again, uh, if you want to add a plus 91 in your every mobile number, you can use flash fill function. You can use flash fill function or you can use any formula also for filling plus 91 uh, in your mobile number that we will see later. But follow this discipline. If uh, you are writing all the numbers using country code, write all numbers uh, using country code. But uh, if you are not using country code don't write country code in any mobile number or don't accept country code from any mobile number this is the main thing which you are supposed to take care of okay now uh, if you decided to write country codes uh, please uh, make it clear either you are uh, going to write in separate column or you are going to write with mobile number only so these things also uh, to be decided before writing this mobile numbers. Now how to read mobile number? 
so suppose for example you are going to dial the mobile number using uh, this thing uh, what uh, mobile phone you want to uh, dial this number suppose 9.1750 f4 9.1750 plus 11 f3 so there is mistake in this mobile number i will type another f4. mobile number here let's Edit the line left seven five zero seven eight nine two four nine zero. Now you want to read this mobile number. A line default seven billion five hundred seven million eight hundred ninety two thousand four hundred ninety four. And you want to dial this mobile number, so you can use one and three for reading this. Edit the line right one one. Oh, okay. So num lock is on. One. And I'm Blank. not able to read. Seven five zero seven eight nine two four nine zero. Oh, num lock off. No. Left align default vertical align default land. Left land. Nine point one seven five zero eight e plus eleven net align default one seven five zero eight e plus seven billion five hundred seven mil align default vertical align seven five zero seven eight nine two four nine zero. Like this, you can read. And dial this number. No, apostrophe is uh, not visible. So, apostrophe is not visible. Or it will show only plus nine one because uh, <clears throat> if it is visible, it should have read apostrophe. But it is not visible. That's why it is. It will not read apostrophe. So that's what about mobile numbers. Email ID is always small, and type all email email ID without any space. Blood groups or like this, uh, the data like blood groups always use capital letters and plus minus signs. This is the thing related to data entries. Now, uh, there is important thing which we are going to discuss uh, now, which is how to decide, how to decide the number of rows and columns for particular data. Suppose a hospital guy comes to you and uh, he will tell, uh, he, uh, tell you like, uh, boss, I want to make my records digitalized. <coughs> and uh, he will tell you uh, like uh, the everyday patient comes to me and uh, I have to register their few details. And uh, the next time patient, uh, when next time patient comes to me, uh, I will not register his or her details. So previous details, uh, I should be uh, means uh, I should be able to utilize the previous details. So now, how you will decide that how many rows and columns you are going to create, and which details you are going to accept for your database? This sense is very important. Because sometimes you will have to be engaged in uh, surveys, uh, data uh, collection and all the things. So this is very important. Which data should we prioritize or which to not. So let's discuss this thing quickly and we will move uh, to home tab after this. And we will start with data entry and we will uh, make practical data entries and we will uh, be learning data uh, editing and formatting using home tab functions after this discussion so we are moving a little bit faster but still you will have to adjust <coughs> okay now I will tell you one case suppose I work for Snayankit helpline and there are some students or some volunteers, some teachers, and some office staff. They visit, uh, they come uh, to office and they work here and they move uh, to their homes respectively. 
now i want to keep record of their entry and exit in office using excel using excel so now uh, two three things uh, which i would consider for their entry like who is coming in at what time what is the role of uh, him or her in our office means uh, his or her uh, duty that uh, is a student teacher or whatever and his uh, living time date also so means date person who is that person what is uh, what is the role of that person means oh, occupation you can say occupation uh, uh, the coming time and leaving time means entry time and exit time are there so how many columns you are going to create in that data how many columns you are going to create in that data i want these things Na uh, the date name of person who is coming in what is the role uh, when when he is coming in when he is going out these much columns i want so how many columns should i create in my data <clears throat> जस्ट ट्राई टू थिंक एंड आंसर कि इस डेटा में कितने कॉलम्स होने चाहिए ओनली वन आंसर आई एम गेटिंग टिल नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू डिजिटलाइज माई ऑफिस रेकॉर्ड बट आई एम नॉट श्योर दैट हाउ मेनी रोज एंड कॉलम्स आई शुड क्रिएट सो आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस कि मुझे इतनी सारी इंफॉर्मेशन चाहिए आने वाले और जाने वाले के बारे में द डेट हु इज कमिंग वॉट इज द रोल एंड देन दीज आर द क्वेश्चन आई एम टेलिंग यू वॉट इज द रोल वेन ही इज कमिंग इन वेन ही इज गोइंग आउट दैट्स द थिंग्स विच आई वॉन्ट ओके नाउ आई एम गेटिंग आंसर्स so five columns we are supposed to create right five columns we will create because date name uh, the occupation entry time and exit time that's what no more no less not up any more not up any less now there may be two employees having same name <clears throat> there may be two employees having same name there may be three four employees having same name so we should create any column for differentiation between every entry because see it's possible entry date will be same entry time may be same exit time may also be same and the names may be same so who is that सो यहाँ पे एम्प्लॉय आई डी कम्स इन टू द पिक्चर एवरी रिकॉर्ड शुड हैव यूनिक आइडेंटिटी सो हियर वी विल एड अनदर कॉलम ऑफ एम्प्लॉय आई डी फॉर अवॉइडिंग डुप्लीकेशन ऑफ नेम्स और फॉर अवॉइडिंग डुप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनी सच अदर एंट्रीज बिकॉज इफ डेट इज सेम एम्प्लॉय आई डी इज डिफरेंट एम्प्लॉय आई डीज आर डिफरेंट इफ टाइमिंग इज सेम स्टिल एम्प्लॉय आई डीज आर डिफरेंट if names are same still employee ids are always different so in your database always remember every time there should be an unique identity number like employee identity numbers are you uh, corporate used employee identity number bank banks use customer identification number cin because there it's possibility that account numbers and ifc codes uh, means account numbers may be same of different branches account numbers may be same it is possible or some digits of account numbers may be same 
so banks uh, cannot have the risk of recognizing customers through account numbers so they uh, assign customer id student id means roll number is assigned to every single student because of avoiding the duplication of name and the their date of births may be same we could not predict the things right so in every database there should be a unique value associated with each and every record <clears throat> that id will make your record unique one okay now let's discuss another case i am working in a gym and there i have been asked to create a digital worksheet or a excel sheet for maintaining record of the members who visit my gym so i want few answers uh, by looking at that excel sheet like entry and exit time of each member entry and exit time name how many hours of workout and whether he is utilizing any electronic service electronic service or not like such as uh, the treadmill and other electronic machineries are there so these things i want in my database or i want to uh, i want answers of these questions when i will look at this excel sheet so name member and uh, <coughs> name member entry and exit time uh, and the if uh, he or her he or she is using elect electric uh, things or not these these only things i want so how many columns are required <clears throat> okay again 5 5 5 5 okay six <clears throat> okay if they are using electronic device you will have to use yes or no or you will have to tick uh, check mark or use check mark or not only so that's the thing for but you will have to create electronic device column use of electronic device okay five and if we decide to uh, assign member id to every uh, member then we will use six columns so your data should be accurate precise and as per the requirement it should be as it should it should be entered as per the requirement right so there may be different cases of data entries for you and which we which we are dis, uh, going to discuss uh, later in different cases where we will learn the hr and uh, other department functions right but till the time you just have to remember number of questions equal to number of columns <clears throat> number of questions simple formula of table creation number of questions equal to number of columns the num uh, if uh, that person wants answer of six question from the database there should be six columns each question is equivalent to a separate column so your data uh, would not create any mess or any difficulty to uh, for understanding okay so this is what about data entry <clears throat> you should follow proper formats of any while entering data so it will save your editing and formatting uh, the time it 
एंड योर डेटा शुड बी प्रिसाइज एंड एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऐसा भी नहीं हो कि कोई कॉलम एनी कॉलम इज लेस और एनी कॉलम इज एक्स्ट्रा इन योर डेटा राइट सो ऐसा भी उसमें uh, ना हो दैट एनी कॉलम इज एक्स्ट्रा और सी समटाइम्स योर डेटा कैन बी रिडेंडेंट मीन्स सम कॉलम्स मे बी सेम और सम देर मे बी डुप्लीकेट कॉलम्स समटाइम सो वी विल सी हाउ टू अवॉइड डुप्लीकेशन इन कॉलम्स और हाउ टू डील विथ डुप्लीकेट एंट्रीज बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी नो एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर विच वी हैव कवर्ड टिल द टाइम okay good now uh, what we will do we will create a table full fledged table and we will perform some home type functions on that table right we will have a case and we will perform some home type functions while performing we will learn shortcut tricks of data entries shortcut tricks so without wasting any time let's create the data sheet of mobile phone sales <coughs> let's create the data uh, of mobile sales in this workbook only <coughs> but for that we will add a new sheet and for adding new sheet there are two options either you can use alt h i and from there you can insert sheet or you can press shift plus f11 for adding new worksheet to your workbook now let's do this i will press shift plus f11 and here we go wait cursor and don't cursor sheet 2 table align default vertical align default a1 so we are uh, on sheet 2 and for moving to previous and next sheet we will use control plus page up or page down keys control page up and page down previous and next sheet respectively so now let's create a database of mobile phone sales which is one of the favorite topic of mine while teaching excel because it will help you to learn lots of things how to do it now uh we are a uh, uh, samsung showroom for example we are a samsung showroom and we sell different types of commodities different types of mobile phones like samsung s23 s22 s21 s20 or the other series but let's consider s series only we are flagship showroom of samsung uh, samsung and we sell some flagship phones of samsung so we are supposed to make entries of sales records of our showroom not only our showroom but all the showrooms which are there in our cities and we are also going to record current price which is going uh, mean, means ongoing in the market so let's create some columns the first row we will reserve for table heading or the any uh, other writing and we will start with second row a2 here we will write serial numbers serial number and the line left s r r r r dot n o serial number no dot then we will use product id here we are going to use product id align default vertical align default b2 why we are using product id that you will get to know because this this particular sheet we are going to use in many of our classes so let's type product id always follow proper case so first letter of p will be capital and id id will be capital and the line with r o d u c t product space i d like this product id product id align default vertical align default c2 
okay now <coughs> let's have date here instead of product id because on which day we are selling that's uh, also uh, important so let's make date here instead product of product id overflow in b2 so let's make it as a date serial number after serial number date edit a a t e eight space date. align default vertical align default c2 and let's make it as product id c d u c t dot space i d i d space product id then uh, in this column Sheet two table align default vertical align default D two product name unknown O D U C T product space N A M E name space product name Sheet two table align default vertical align default E two product name <coughs> and then we want to find out in which cities we are selling, in which state, and how many quantities, and what is the price in that particular city. Right, this, these many questions we want to uh, answer by using this data. Now, why we are uh, creating such data that you will get to know? Because we are going to learn some data entry tricks, shortcut tricks by using this data. क्योंकि ये पूरा relevant data नहीं है as compared to mobile sales but still let's create without any question product name E2 here is city edit the line left C no no C. state state because state is bigger element and city will come later so let's make it as a state S A A T A T E state space state. align default vertical align default F2 and here city Edit align left Y tie space city. Align city will be there. City F two G two H two City F two G two. Okay, in G two you will have quantity quantity of sale. Edit align left Q T Y Q T Y shortcut of quantities. Align default vertical align default H2. And let's have price. Let's have price here. Edit align R I C E rice space. Price of mobile phones here. <coughs> okay. Now we will make some entries in this. So what we are going to do, I will tell you. First of all, we will generate serial numbers. Then we will have today's date because we are making this data entry today. So let we will have today's date. Then we will assign product IDs to five or ten, five products. Five products. We are recording sales of only five products because we want uh, to provide feedback to Samsung head office of sale of these five flagship products only. Baki to data entry chalti rahegi ajubazu mein. But we are supposed to record only these five products. So we will assign different product IDs 501, 502, 503, 504, and 506 like this. We will assign these product IDs. And what uh, next? We will write these product names and we will type uh, the data for three cities from each states suppose for maharashtra we will write three cities uh, for gujarat we will write three cities like this and we will create such data so here state will be repeating cities will be repeating this product ids and product name these things will be repeating but don't worry you will not going to type this uh, means again and again there is shortcut and there are some shortcuts which we are going to use for creating large data set within a seconds bas uske liye hame ek sample chahiye rahega bas only sample is required so don't worry uh, in next class in first 30 minutes 
we will be creating this data by learning more than 10 or 12 shortcut data entry tricks which will help you to avoid your mistakes and then we will use home tab functions on this data. <clears throat> so that is the base uh, for uh, tomorrow's task. So just let me, uh, that's it for today guys. I will stop the recording and I will answer your questions. Wake up. Just let me do this. Normal cursor. Meet.google.com is sharing your screen. Stop sharing the space. Meet dash advanced. Ops 29.0. Ops close. Start stop recording.